Good morning, class 7A and 7B. This is Ms. Seishu. In the topic, states of matter, we have the subtopic for today is explaining changes of state. The references are in the course book, page 75, 76, 77. So let's have a warm up. Here you can see the empty boxes and here empty arrows. In the empty boxes here up you have, here you need to say, put the matters and here you need to put add heat energy or remove heat energy and in the arrow boxes you have to put the name of the process which is going on. Okay, let's start. Yes, here. Very good, solid. Good liquid and here yes so here you can see good ice and here water and here gas okay so where I put my cursor you have to answer that box okay so first I am putting here yes here heat added that means add heat energy so the process name called evaporation very good and then here yes remove heat energy well done and here the process called excellent condensation okay and now I put here yes add heat energy and the process called very good evaporation now the last one here yes remove heat energy and the process called good freezing so well done all of you okay so that means we have understood how the states of matter are changing from one phase to another phase so today's in the today's class we are going to learn how the particles are playing a role in the changing of phases so first one we are looking for heating solids if we heat the solids what will happen yes if we heat the solids the solid will be going to melt so for example, if we feel hot, we can sit together close. Yes. Similarly, when we heat the solid particle, solid substance, the particles inside the solid are moving little far. Okay. Here you can see the change of the particles. Here you can see the particles are together packed, but here little they have spaces in between them. That means when we heat the solid, the heat energy given to the particles. That means when the heat energy is passed to the particles, the particles will be moving far apart. But there, you cannot see the change in the shape and size of the particles. That means when the heat energy is transferred to the particles, that particles are having kinetic energy. When the kinetic energy is uh, produced to the particles, the particles are started to vibrate. So we have to understand here, the more energy the particles have, the more they vibrate. So finally, you can see the particles are having more energy means they are having vibration more so that means they will take up more space the particles are still held in position by the attractive forces in between them here you can see they are staying in the same place but only having little space in between them so there is no change in the size there is no change in the shape and they will be fixing together in the same places because of they are having attractive forces in between them. Okay, 
so in the liquid also you can see when it is cold they are they will be the particles are getting together and when we heat the liquid the particles are moving apart that means they are having the vibration because of the kinetic energy so by this what we have learned when a solid is heated the particles vibrate more and take up more space so here you can see when we heat the solid the particles are getting expanded that means expansion when you heat the particles in a substance vibrate more and move apart to occupy more space okay so the size and volume increases but the size of the particles remain the same so when cooled they contract okay just pause the video and take down the notes in your notebook copy down along with the picture so the next process is melting solids melting means what changing of solid to liquid by heating so when a solids are heated even more strongly they melt understood we know this already melting means when we heat the solid it will be changing into liquid here you can see the ice is heated when the ice is heated more that solid ice changes into liquid water that the process we name it as melting so when we heat the solids more what's the particles are doing inside okay what happens to the particles of a solid that is heated until it melts as we heat energy is supplied to the solid and converted into kinetic energy as we talked before so the particles vibrate faster above their fixed position then it will be getting more vibration when the vibrations of the particles overcome the attractive forces between them they begin to break away from their fixed positions so when the when they break their attractive forces means they are getting away from each other so finally it will be melting so that means the particles slide over one another and the substance is now called a liquid so by this we can understand that the particles vibrate so much that some escape the strong forces and can move around as a liquid and the third one is boiling liquids for example if we touch the fire what the reaction for us we will be moving immediately okay so like that here you can see the picture when the fire is coming near to the person this person is running away from the fire same like that when the particles are getting the heat energy they will be moving apart okay so boiling is another process by which a liquid becomes a gas boiling point is the temperature at which the liquid becomes a gas substances have specific boiling points for example water boils at 100 degrees celsius or 212 degrees fahrenheit so in the process of boiling we know that the particles move more as heat energy is transferred to them that means you can see the particles inside the liquids are touching together but they have a weak attraction attractive forces some particles have enough energy to break the weak attractive forces holding them together so that means these particles can escape into the air as gas particles okay so that means we we have understood that the boiling liquids when we boil the liquids the particles move so quickly that some escape as a gas is that clear and pause the video now and take 
these points into the notebook and draw these pictures in your white page of your notebook. Then let's move on to the next subtopic is cooling gases. 